Hey everyone, welcome back to RJK English. Um, I, this is the second part of present simple, which is the first part that you learn of English. Um, I eat every day. She eats every day. If you haven't uh, watched the first video, make sure to watch that video. Um, we go over the basic structure. And present simple is are things you do regularly. Um, again, sometimes you'll say it as you're learning English, you might use this because it's very simple. So you'll say, I go to the store and they'll say, good for you. No, <laughs> they will say, they will know what you mean. Oh, you are going to the store. They will translate it in their mind. But the better way to say that would be, I am going to the store. That is the present continuous, but things that you do regularly you use the present simple. I drink coffee every day. And believe me, I drink coffee every day. <laughs> All day. So what we're going to cover today is uh, the rules for when on he, she, and it, you add the S. I'm sorry, not when you add the S, but whether you add an E-S. So let's look at how to change each of these words. So the sentence would be, um, I eat every day. Okay. And now we're going to look at, if you use he, she, and it, you add the S at the end. What would you change these to? So I eat every day. We eat every day. They eat every day. He, she, or it, you add an S on the end. So he, she, it, eat, what would it be? Think about it for a second. Eats. Uh, let me use another color. Eats. And we really say it. Eats. Eats. I drink. He, she, it drinks. Drinks. I start. What would he do? He starts. Now we're getting into uh, uh, some differences. I leave. What does he, she do? He leave. Listen to how it uh, is said. He leaves. He leaves. I don't have a rule for this, but for some words, there is a z and not an us. For these eats, drinks, starts, leaves. It's probably because v is a voiced a voiced consonant v, so it goes to z instead of the unvoiced s. So t t t isn't voiced, so it goes to s. V is voiced, so it goes to z. Okay, so leaves. How about go? He, I go, he go. Z. Notice I put an ES at the end. Here's the things that you put an ES at the end of. If the word ends in SH, the word ends in CH, O, SS, X, or Z, you add it, you add plus ES. E S. This ends in O, goes. What about finish? Finishes. What about watch? Watch is, right? C H. What about cross? Crosses. What about do? Does, and it actually changes the way we say it. It's a little bit odd. I do, he does, does. I teach, he or she, or, or it teaches. Teaches. Um, and when there's an E, it's always Z. Teaches. 
Uh, blush. He blush. See the sh. He blush is. Blushes. Blushes. Okay, so I hope this helps. Watch these and try it out yourself. There's one more thing I want to cover. When we make it a negative statement, we do something that English is very strange for. We add a do. I eat lunch every day. Alex, do you eat lunch every day? What if I don't eat lunch every day? I do not eat lunch every day. I do not eat lunch every day. I add this do to not. I don't say I eat not lunch every day or I not, I not eat lunch every day. People will understand what you mean, but that's not how we speak. We add a do here. I do not eat lunch every day. What we don't do, we don't add it for the positive. I do eat lunch every day. I don't say this unless the only time you do is if you're trying to emphasize. Hey, Alex, uh, do you eat lunch every day? I, I eat lunch every day. Um, are you sure? I don't think you eat lunch every day. I do eat lunch every day. If you're emphasizing, you then you use this. I Come on, I told you already. I do eat lunch every day. I do. But in general, you don't add a do. You just add, I eat. If I'm making it a question, we will cover this in a future lesson. I'm sorry this is going a little long. We add it to make the sentence. Do you eat lunch every day? We don't say, eat you lunch every day. You eat lunch every day. We say, do you eat lunch every day? But we will cover that next time. This was a long one. Thanks for being uh, patient. I know this was long, but make sure to hit the bell icon, subscribe, talk to us in the comments, and make sure to hit us up on RJK English and Facebook. See you next time.